Marka Colbert, Speed of Cover Finish Network. It is that time. We got another $100 paint job. I know you guys love these ones. I love them too. <laughs> the ironic thing is I literally have one of my other $100 paint jobs sitting right there. Which, by the way, still looks amazing. And I still haven't buffed it. Still looks great. We got this uh, Ram. I believe it's a 3500 diesel. Thank you. This thing is modded. It's crazy this is a really really nice truck as usual paint was subpar guy wanted it resprayed it had rattle can on the front end the back end had a lot of spider cracking in the paint pretty much the the really heavily sun exposed spots that were the paint that's where the paint was the worst um so we sanded a lot more concentrated more on the top of doors as it got towards the bottom i really only had to 180 and and, and 400 and it was good so we are going to get this thing masked up put a little bit of primer on that body work came out pretty good on that so i don't gotta go too crazy with primer gonna get some paint in the gun let's get ready to spray All right, so quick pause the video right here. You notice I have a quick oh crap moment and I see that the paint is starting to react. So, as you guys can see the picture here, we have a lot of, um, it's like halos and it was just not looking really good at all. So I stepped the gun back and I started to miss the paint on and then I let that paint that I missed it on kind of set up and use that as kind of like a grounding coat slash a sealer to seal off whatever it was reacting to. Not sure what it was. But then I, as you guys will notice in this clip, I start to miss the paint on more and more and more and get a higher and higher build on the finish until it stops reacting and it looks like one smooth uniform finish. This is what separates the experts in the business from the amateurs. Fixing paint jobs mid job, when you start to have screw ups and you're like, oh crap, what do I do? This is where the experts are gonna come into play and know exactly what to do and exactly how to apply the paint and fix the issue mid job.
wraps it up, guys. $180 paint job. I had to correct myself. I have, haven't bought the Speedo Coat single stage in a while, and it did go up in price. But still, um, we got the $189.99 high gloss single stage uh, white kit from Speedo Coat. Had about $10 worth of usable material left over, so technically it's a $180 paint job. And guys, for how rough this truck was, I'm really happy with how it came out. It's not perfect. You can definitely see some of the imperfections under the paint. However, one of the things the single stage is notorious for, and even learning this in auto body school and having an auto body teacher that's more old school, Single stage is great for projects like this, rougher cars. The paint is thicker and it's made to fill in some of those, some, not all, some of those imperfections. I know for a cold solid fact, I still probably have some 180 grit scratches down the side of this truck and probably down the other side, but that paint, I'm not gonna say it always does, but two really thick wet coats with the Speedo Coat single stage, I have had luck and it can possibly fill 180 grit scratches if enough paint is applied. You know, a lot of these new age guys are just so stuck on base coat, clear coat. That's the best way. We waterborne, blah, blah, blah. That's, I don't, I, like, look, I'm old school. I like single stage. This is a great product for an old, like, this is like an old truck, you know, it looks like he toes with it. This is great for that. And I'm going to be honest with you, minus, you know, I did get some orange peel with this paint job. Minus the little bit of orange peel that I got uh, with this paint job, there is no difference in gloss between base coat, clear coat, and single stage when using these Speedo Coat Select products. I have shown you guys in plenty of other videos that single stage, in, in my honest opinion, almost looks better than base coat, clear coat. If you're going for that real glassy look and you lay this paint on just right, just wet enough, it can almost look better than base coat, clear coat. The whole truck has two full solid wet coats over it. So, you know, that's, I mean, you could go a third coat and then you'd have to let it flash longer and, you know, possibility of runs, give or take possibly. But overall, this thing came out really, really good. I'm super happy with it. If you guys are looking for the best, most affordable auto body products in the world, head on over to www.speedocoat.com. They have everything you need start to finish to get the job done. Like, subscribe, new videos every week.